Student, today we are going to solve some of sub array minimums problem. So, in this problem, we are given a, an array and we have to find all the sub arrays. And after finding all the sub array, we have to find the minimum of all the sub arrays. So, the minimum of this array will be 3, this array will be 1, this array will be 2, this array will be 4. So, minimum of this array will be 1, it will be 1, 2, 1, 1, and it will be also 1. So now after finding minimum of all the sub array, we have to sum them. So what we have to do, we have to find the all sub arrays minimum and then we have to return its sum. So here its sum is 17. Now how we can solve this problem? So the first problem, the first solution that comes into your mind will be the brute force approach. In brute force approach, what you, what you will do, you will simply make, uh, simply find the all sub arrays, how you can find the all sub arrays in O of n square and how you can find the minimum, you can by traversing, it will become O of n cube. So this will be your time complexity for finding all the sub arrays and then finding all the minimum. But you can improve it by just finding the minimum as soon as you finding the sub arrays. So it will be reduced to O of n square when you find minimum while creating, while creating this. So let's see while creating this sub arrays. So let's see the code for the same. So what we will do, we will start from our, we start iterating over this loop. So how we can do for this, I can start my int i equals to 0 to i less than length of this. So i less than n and i plus plus. Then what I can do, I can initialize my minimum. Uh, what will be the minimum? I can initialize with this. If I have to check all the sub array, then I am initializing with this minimum equals to this array i and then what I can take my sum equals to here I am taking my sum that is 0. Now again, now after this I will iterate from this. I will iterate here. So for int uh, let's say my j equals to i j less than n j plus plus and what I will do I will check if this will be my minimum in my sub array or not. So what will the sub array with the starting 3? So sub array will be 3 uh, 3 1 first will be 3 then 3 1 then we have a 3 2 then we have a 3 4 3 1, 2 and 3, 1, 2, 4. So this will be the sub array. And in this sub array, here my minimum will be 3, here my minimum will be 1, here my minimum will be 1, here my minimum will be 1. And I have to sum all of this. So what I will do, if my minimum is greater than, if my minimum is greater than my array j, in that case, what I will do, in that case, I will change my minimum. I will change my minimums to array j. And in this loop, what I will do finally, I will sum up all the minimum. I will sum the minimum. So if I iterate here, so you can see and finally I will return my minimum. So let's have a dry run to understand this. So I start from 3. From 3, I will, first of all, my minimum will be 3. So this is my sum. Sum will become 3. Now in 3, 1, my minimum will be, minimum will change to 1. Minimum change to 1, so it will be 4. In 3, 1, 2, my minimum is 1, so it will 5. 3, 1, 4, minimum is 1, so it will become 6. Now I will start from i. Now from 1, 1, to 4, uh, 1, my minimum will be 1, so I will this. Then 1, 2, minimum will be 1. For 1, 4, 1, to 4, minimum will be 1. So for both of them, I will make it 8. From 1, then 2 and 4. So it will become about 6, 7, 8. Now for 2, my minimum will be first 2 and then 2, 4, it will be 2. So it will become, uh, here it was 9 and 2, 2, 4, it will become 30. And then for finally 4, my minimum will be 4, so it will become 17. So if you, you can clearly see, my answer will be 17 and I will return this. And the time complexity you can see, here the time complexity, because I am checking minimum while you know, finding the sub arrays, so my minimum uh, time complexity will become of n square and the space complexity because we are not using any extra space so our space complexity will be of 1. Now 
let's see how we can utilize this of n scale to of n so now let's think about the optimum solution how we can improve from of n scale to of n so if if what will these two contribute to my final answer what is my final answer final answer will be sum of all minimum all sub arrays minimum so if i have two if this is the minimum in a sub arrays let's say i have some sub arrays which minimum has its minimum will be two so there maybe i am assuming there are a sub arrays such that its minimum is two there are b sub arrays such that its minimum is nine and there are certain i somehow i find how many how many how many sub arrays which minimum are these so after finding this i can just simply sum summation um if it's there are a sub arrays which have minimum 2 so in the final answer what will be my what will be the contribution of 2 contribution of 2 will be 2 into a okay and contribution of 9 will be 9 into b so i can summation my minimum minimum into number of sub arrays number of sub arrays in which it is minimum number of sub arrays in which it is minimum so so now my question is how i can find in how no so so now the question is how i can find this number of sub arrays in which x is this assume this is x this x is minimum how i can find so let's see before moving to this solution you first have to know what is next greater element right what is next greater left problem if you do not understand that i i would recommend you to watch that video first then comes to this so what i will do here if i am let's say if i am at 3 so i will find what is the next smallest element in its left so the next smallest element is here and the next smallest element at right is 1 1 so what i can say what i can say in this array in this array in this array the sub array of sub array will give my minimum 3 uh, let's see if i have 9 8 7 3 what so will be the minimum minimum will be 3 if i have a 9 8 7 three, four. So what will be minimum? Three. Nine, eight, seven, three, four, six. What will be minimum? Three. If I take eight, seven, three. If I take seven, three, four. So how many? How many? How many sub array will be possible here? So if you see, um, let's say this is my m. Let's say this is my length m, and this is my length n. This is my length n. There it is. So how many element will be there? M plus n minus one. Okay, so how many sub arrays will be possible? The sub arrays will be m into n minus one, m into n minus one plus one. That will be this. So there will be this much array whose minimum will be three. No, there are this much sub arrays possible in this region. But but if you see clearly, if I have array this, if I have this, so here will be minimum three. No, so I have to delete. all these sub arrays all these sub arrays in this region and all these sub arrays in this region where three is not included so how many sub arrays will be there how many sub arrays will be there if this is m if this is m then this will be m minus 1 so m minus 1 into sub arrays of this will be there will be m in minus 1 into m divided by 2 and how many sub arrays will be there is n into n minus 1 Divide by two. So after solving this equation, if you solve this equation, you will get your answer as m into n. You can solve it, and it it will give you m into n. And what is this m? This m is the distance. M is the distance from its next greater element, next smaller element in its left, and n is the next smaller element in next smaller element in its right. So what we have to do is. so i have found how many sub arrays this is how many sub arrays we have in which this 3 will be its minimum 
now if i have to find the next thing i have to find that what will this three contribute to my final answer so three will contribute to my final answer so if these are there are let's say what is this m here so this is one two three four and here one two three so m is my here m is my four and n is three so this will be twelve okay and in the final answer there will be twelve sub array twelve sub arrays whose minimum is three whose minimum is three that means twelve into three thirty six this thirty six will be added to my answer. Thirty six will be added to my answer. If I find for all this, then my answer will be plus equal plus equals to for all this element, let's say array i. I have to find its smaller element. Let's say I can say nash is smaller element in its left for i and nash is smaller element in its right for i and I will submit this from i equals to zero to n. And this will be my answer. This will be my answer. Now the final thing is. Now let's see here. If I have this array, um, three, one, two, four. So what will the? It's next smaller element. Next smaller element of this two. There will be no next smaller element in its right. So in that case, what I will do? I will I will make my next smaller is. Array size minus i this i i at minus one and if for one for one there is no next smaller element in its left so in that case what will be it will be i index will be i so the length will be i you can see and here length will be length will be array size minus i minus one so I hope you understand both of the problem next smaller element in left Next smaller element in right. Now, if you know this, then the final thing after finding this and this, we have to implement this solution and we will get our answer. Yes. So now let's check the code for the same. So here, what we are doing is first of all we are finding our length and then we are creating left, which will create uh, find next smaller element in its left and right. It will calculate the next smaller element in its right. Then what we will do is we are using a stack for finding this too. We have already see how to find this using a stack. So we are doing this finding next smaller element in left and then finding next smaller element in its right. After that, after that, what we are doing is we are just adding our result into left of i into right i and we are taking more because our answer can be greater than 10 to the power 9 plus 7. So in that case, what we are doing is we are taking more and if you so i hope you understand both solution if you if, if both solution helps you do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button thanks for watching